done up here. Nobody came to see me at this station. So I decided to film how I'm gonna approach this problem. So you all understand how I got what you're about to see at the microscope. Okay, I got our plankton net that they, they used uh, earlier today, but only got such uh, tiny specimens that uh, you wouldn't see anything with uh, the computer microscopes that uh, we have for you. So, don't have a boat in here to, to tow this thing or just let it drop down. Uh, the water is very dark and uh, from what I can see the, the bottom is only about maybe a foot and a half. So I'm just gonna maybe bring that net at the extremity of the pond and then pull it at the surface gently to be able to see if we have some uh, freshwater critters in here. Okay. See my net's already at the bottom of the, the pond over there, so it's not very deep. Only fresh water here from uh, runoff, but uh, some, uh, some birds probably come in here and uh, maybe bring in some critters with them. So, pull, and we're gonna see if we catch anything interesting. Hope I didn't get uh, too much mud. Not too bad. Bringing a sample bag. And, uh, the end of the plankton net is a bit like a, I don't know, a sort of a hospital tube. Just have a, a clip that you uh, loosen to get uh, the juice out. Oh boy, there are, you know, mosquitoes breed in fresh water, so this is the spot for them. Thank God for a uh, bug repellent. All right, uh, what do you do when, <laughs> I mean, there's so much mud in there that uh, it won't go in the bag. So I'll just flip it over a bit like a, a sock and get the, uh, the nice gooey stuff out of there for you to look at the later. Of course, now it's just uh, you know a big uh, clump of mud. Probably something moving in there, but it's just uh, stuck in the mud. So I'll add a little bit of water, shake it, so they'll be nice and happy. Yeah. And uh, just in case, just in case they're all dead by the time we get to the boat. Just to prove you, I did catch uh, some living things. Here they are. I think they're called fairy shrimp also. Nice and cute. 